In this video, we're going to learn how to find the shaded area. And in each of these problems, we're going to be finding the blue shaded area. So let's jump into example one. And example one says that the two squares below share a center. So this outside square that measures 10 feet by 10 feet and this white square in the middle share a center. And that's gonna be helpful when we're trying to find the side length of this white square. So first, let's just conceptually understand how to find the shaded area. So to find the shaded area a lot of times, we want to find the area of the outer shape and we want to subtract the area of the inner shape from that. So in this problem, our outer shape is this square that measures 10 by 10. So I'm going to put that in pink. So the area of this square, and that's because it's outlined in pink. And then for the area of the inner shape, that's also a square, and I'll just put it as the area of the white square because it's the smaller white square. And now we have to remember how to find the area of a square. To find the area of a square, we're just going to multiply the side lengths together or square the side lengths. So the area of this pink squared is going to be the side length of 10 feet squared. So I'm gonna put 10 squared. And now we have to find the area of the inner square. Now they don't give us the side lengths of this inner white square, so we're gonna to have to find that ourselves. So because these two squares share a center, this border is going to be three feet all around. So on all four sides, this is going to be three feet. So to find the side length of this white square, we have to take the side length of the outer square, which is 10 feet, and subtract three feet twice. We have to subtract the width of that border twice. So I'm gonna write side length of inner square is equal to 10 minus three minus three, and 10 minus three is seven, and minus three again is four. So we get that the side length of our inner square is four feet. So to find the area of our inner square, we're going to do that four feet squared. And now we're just gonna simplify this. So 10 squared is 100, and four squared is 16, and 100 minus 16 is going to give us a shaded area of 84, and our units are going to be feet squared. Taking a look at example two, we have a rectangle with a white triangle pulled out of it and we wanna find the area of this blue shaded region. So conceptually, we're gonna do the same thing. We need to do the area of the outer shape minus the area of the inner shape. This time our outer shape is a rectangle. So the area of the rectangle minus the area of this triangle. Remember to find the area of a rectangle, we're just going to multiply the length times the width and to find the area of a triangle, we need to do one half times the base times the height. So let's look at the rectangle first. So if we look at our rectangle, we know that we have a length of 10 inches and a width of four inches. And now let's see if we can find the base and height of the triangle. If we look at our triangle, we're gonna say this line down here is the base. So I'll just fill that in. I'll say our base is 10. And now we're gonna say that our height is right here. So our height always has to be perpendicular to the base. And they didn't quite give us the height in this location, but you may be able to tell that this length right here is the same as our height. So our height is actually four inches. And now we're gonna simplify this. So 10 times four is 40, minus one half times 10 times four is going to give us 20. And 40 minus 20 is just 20 inches squared is what we get as our shaded area. Let's go through two more examples. So for these last two examples, feel free to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can unpause the video and watch me work through them to make sure that you've solved them correctly. So in example three, we have a square with a circle cut out. So we're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing, so we wanna find the area of the outer shape and subtract the area of the inner shape from that outer shape area. Now, in this case, our outer shape is a square, and our inner shape is a circle. To find the area of the square, we're just going to square the side length, so I'll just write side length squared. And to find the area of a circle, remember that the equation is pi times the radius squared. Now, they give us the side lengths of the square. It's just 8 inches, so I'm going to plug in 8 for our side length, so the area of our square is just 8 squared. And now, they don't give us the radius of the circle, so we have to find it ourselves. 
So what you may notice is that the diameter of our circle is just the same as the side length of our square. So the diameter of our circle is 8 inches. And remember that if our diameter is 8 inches, our radius is just half of that. So our radius is just this little portion right here, which is 4 inches. So now I'm going to plug in our radius of 4 inches into our equation. And now we're just going to simplify this. So 8 times 8 is 64, minus 4 times 4 is 16. So I'm going to write this as 16 pi. And a lot of times you can just leave your answer in terms of pi. So I'm just going to leave our answer like this. So we get 64 minus 16 pi, and our units are inches squared. And if you guys have to actually find the decimal value of that, you can just plug that into your calculator using pi or 3.14 as pi. Moving on to our last example, we have a rectangle with three semicircles cut out of it. So we need to do the area of the outer minus the area of the inner shapes. And this time we have three inner shapes. So the area of our outer is going to be a rectangle. So we have the area of a rectangle minus, you may notice that all three of these circles are going to be the same size. So we can say three times the area of these semicircles. So let's write down the formulas for each of these. So to find the area of a rectangle, we do length times width. And then we have three times the area of a semicircle. So we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. A semicircle is just half of that. So it's going to be half times pi times r squared. And now let's just fill in what we know. So they give us the length and width of our rectangle. The length is 18 millimeters and the width is 3 millimeters. And now we have to see if we can find the radius of our circles. So you may notice that we can draw a radii of each circle like this. And this is just the same as this width of our rectangle, which is 3 millimeters. So the radius of each of these circles is going to be 3 millimeters. So we're going to plug that in. So we're going to have 1 half times pi times our radii of 3 squared. Oops, not cubed, squared. And now we just want to simplify this. So 18 times 3 is going to give us 54 minus 3. I'm going to simplify what's in the parentheses first, and I'm just going to leave pi in there. So we're going to have 1 half times pi times 3 squared, which is 9. And now I'm going to continue to simplify what's in the parentheses. So I'll keep the 3 on the outside. Remember, when we're multiplying, we can multiply in whatever order we want. So we can multiply this 1 half by the 9 to get 9 halves, or 4.5. So I'll write it as 4.5 pi. And then up here, I will finish simplifying this. So we have 54 minus. 3 times 4.5 is going to give us 13.5, and then we have it multiplied by pi. And I'm just going to leave this in terms of pi again. If you want to put it in your calculator to get a decimal approximation, you can do that as well. And our units are millimeters squared. So we get a shaded area of 54 minus 13.5 pi millimeters squared. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to find the shaded area of shapes. Just remember that you have to subtract the area of the inner shape or shapes from the area of the outer shape.